Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. Today I am going to discuss the problem Allies Library of Data Structures and Algorithms Coding Contest of April Hacker Earth. Okay, so let's jump into the problem statement and let's read it out first. Allies is rearranging her library. She takes the innermost shelf and reverses the order of books. She breaks the walls of the shelf. In the end, there will be only books with no shelf walls. Okay, so basically, uh, there is will there will be a string, and uh, string will contain the order of books that is some characters, and the shelf is going to be denoted by you can see opening and closing walls of the shelf are shown by this forward slash and this backward slash respectively, whereas books are represented by lowercase alphabet between these forward and backward slashes okay and what we have to do we have to print the order of books and what should be the order that is she takes the innermost shelf and reverses the order of the books first innermost then next innermost and it should be like that okay so if you're not going to understand this no need to worry about i'm going to explain this with the help of example for the clarity of this question okay so input format will be first string and we have to print the a string after a list library a rearrangement that is the order of the books okay this is going to vary up to 10 power 3 so we can have an o of n squared solution so that should be kept in our mind okay so let's move further to analyze this problem with the help of example okay you can see i have uh, taken here the string of five characters you can see and here the string of three characters let's discuss this problem uh, that is string of five characters then I'm going to come on this one. Okay, so Okay, so first let's uh, uh, Go through the example as given in this question and then try to frame how this uh, how the given string can be written in this form Okay, so now uh, let's suppose we have been given some string like this forward slash a and this forward slash b and then forward slash c and then d and closing this and this one so this is actually a string that is given and we need to just find out the order of books after removing the innermost shelf or you can yes innermost shelf then putting the string back after reversing it and then so on okay so how the sequence of operations is going to be done let's try to understand this okay so it it would be like uh, first a will be there then b will be there because this is not the innermost now you can see this is the innermost shelf and it should be like forward slash then close uh, that is backward slash okay so this is first uh, innermost uh, you can see uh, closing brackets or you can also say okay so we need to reverse this string and remove these uh, forward and backward slashes that is if there if it is a single character it will be as it is now you can see this would this should be like d and then for backward slash e and then this one okay now what will what will be the next innermost that is after doing this operation next innermost shelf would be like this one okay so we need to uh, remove these forward slashes and backward slashes and reverse this bcd correct bcd string so and uh, keep it is as uh, keep it as it is so it should be like a d c b and e okay and what should be the next operation the next innermost sequence would be like this one so my answer would be like e b c d a so this is our answer okay so how we are going to do that efficiently uh, okay so for now let's uh, understand this how this is, string can be modified into this one okay so let me do some stuff like uh, you can see this is particular string between two forward slashes and this is a particular string between two forward slashes and this is a particular string between forward and backward this is between backward and backward and again this is between backward and backward now i have formed this string like ignoring the forward uh, that is type of uh, slashes present uh, uh, over there and the strings between them i need to focus on the strings between the slashes either forward slashes or the backward slashes okay so it should be like it it will be s1 and it will be s2 and it will be s3 and it will be s4 and it will be s5 okay so let's try to understand what is happening here so this is s2 this is s3 and this is s4 and this is s5 now you can see uh, 
the, I'm going to just mark it out uh, starting this is the forward one this is the forward one and this is the forward one and here it uh, it is start beginning of the backward slash and this is also a backward slash and this is also a backward slash now you can see in general I can do I can do this stuff like uh, uh, first innermost bracket is this one so just to reverse this string it in general I am talking about note this note that it would be like s1 s2 s3 and then s4 then s5 s3 is basically s3 dash that is the reversed one now you can see s1 it should be like s4 s3 and it should be like s2 and again s5 okay now again reversed one would be like s5 s2 and it should be like s3 s4 and s5 so if you put the if you put the strings uh, like uh, here it will be a single one you can put uh, any strings like a uh, in a string of length greater than one between th uh, these two slashes you can directly uh, get the answer like this one okay now the condition lies is how we are going to implement these all situations okay so it would be like when you encounter some strings that is whenever you encounter the first backward slash you need to think about that between the first backward slash and the latest put forward slash between these two uh, slashes we have to pick up this string and just reverse this string and put this string back into the original position that is like uh, if you are going to do this stuff like b and then uh, we have encountered this forward slash and then we have encountered this c and now we have encountered this backward slash now you can see if we have encountered this backward slash it means we need to go up to this latest forward slash and start taking the substring between these two forward and backward slashes and reverse this substring and put that put that substring back into the again uh, that is again this position so if i'm going to do this it will be like a b and uh, this b c okay now you can see i have done with this forward slash and i need to go up to next position that is d okay again i put that d and again i have uh, encountered some backward slash it would be like this one now as i have already said whenever we encountered some backward slash start searching for the latest uh, forward slash that have been encountered in my current you can say current stack also you can say okay so it should be like uh, this bcd and start reversing this d c b pop this uh, this one you can say this one forward slash it should be like back uh, forward slash a d c b and finally you, you are getting something like e and then backward slash it should be like e and then backward slash we need to reverse this so you can easily see i am going to just use a that is a, use a stack to maintain these operations now why i am going to use this stack so so simply the reason is quite uh, that is quite feasible like you can think like uh, whenever we encounter some backward slash we need to go think for like latest pushed forward slash so if we need to search for this thing this should be easily found with the help of a stack that is start popping the topmost element from the stack until we found the forward slash so this is the key concept again i am going to repeat i am going to use the stack uh, because uh, we need to take care of the forward slash that is latest pushed forward slash and this can be easily find with the help of the stack how this can be easily find with the help of the stack start uh, doing pop operation until we found the stack top as forward slash this is going to be important and if we found, found the forward slash then the substring between these two forward slash and the current backward slash will need to be reversed and after doing the reversed operation push back it into the stack for further processing this is the main key idea okay so let's move further to find out how we are going to implement this uh, logic in the best possible efficient way okay so let's move further okay so time complexity of this uh, process you can say this implementation is, will be going to be o of n square okay and the space complexity will be obvious o of n now you can see I have taken the string s and n will be like a string's length and a stack of characters. Okay, 
So now I am going to say that I am going to use the stack of characters. Why I am going to use the stack of characters? Why not stack of string of characters? Okay, so stack of strings basically. So uh, the reason is uh, quite simple. You can easily think uh, that if I am going to use stack of strings, like how we are going to check for efficiently that whenever we encounter a backward slash, what will be the latest pushed forward slash and we need to find that substring efficiently. So we need to maintain a stack of characters. Okay, so if I am not going to understand this, just uh, proceed with me and when I'm, when I when you are going to just see the code of the entire thing and I am going to explain it will be much more clearer to you okay. So whenever we, whenever we encounter a forward slash or a character lowercase character between a to z it means we need to push that element into the stack and now the according to the problem statement whenever we encounter the uh, backward uh, slash note that first innermost slash should be processed first according to the problem statement that's why i'm going to process like whenever we encounter first innermost slash then do the operation the next slash then do the operation and similar to like that okay so whenever you encounter the backward slash string temporary would be like uh, pop the element from the stack and store it in temporary string until we found uh, you can see the forward slash and if we found the forward slash just stop this process and remove the forward slash from the stack stop because it should not be used for further backward slashes this should be very important uh, that is this should be very important for uh, those uh, that is for those coders that are going to do a silly mistakes over there because i have also done the, uh, the same mistake i have forgotten to remove this stack uh, top element when we encounter the forward slash okay and now again uh, push that element into back to the stack after reversing this is actually a reverse operation if you are going to write the strings then you are going to understand this easily okay so after doing that stack will contain the answers but you can see a stack has the answers in reverse uh, you can see in the reverse way so i need to reverse my answer finally okay so because uh, there will be forward and backward slashes at the end and it is already done over there and finally our answer should be reversed uh, so that we can have answer in sequence that is in original sequence that we want okay so because stack is like uh, first in last out okay so it should be like uh, okay so we need you need to reverse the answers basically okay so finally reverse the answers where answer is going to like just store all the uh, characters from the stack in a reversed way that's why i need to reverse my answer and uh, let's submit this code and check it out if this is going to be an efficient solution or not okay so it, it is still running okay it is accepted so if you if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video